Morning everyone, I hope today finds you well. I was uh, watching the television the other evening and David Bowie was on from Glastonbury 2000 when he headlined the uh, show there. And uh, during the encore, he did one of his hits from 1983, Let's Dance. And uh, as I was listening to it, I was reminded of something that happened to me um, in a bank a few years ago. And I was in the queue and there was an elderly lady, probably in her 80s, ahead of me talking to the bank teller and they were talking about dancing and at one point in the conversation the teller looked over the shoulder of the lady and looked at me and she told me this lady is a superb dancer she's been dancing all her life and she's in need of a new partner and she said you look ideal looking at my height and uh, I smiled <clears throat> but the lady seemed to think this was a good idea and she turned round and came over to me and she put one arm here and took my hand in hers and she gently led me as we danced to the unheard rhythm of the waltz. Now this was probably an amusing sight for many in the bank as there were other customers in there and I saw some of the smiles and I saw <clears throat> some laughter as well, heard some laughter. Now I don't know whether that was the joy of watching an expert dancer in motion or watching a clumsy person, i.e. me, who is being led by this expert. But as I learned to follow her lead, I do believe that I was becoming less and less clumsy by each step. And uh, this lady had been dancing all her life. By the way she danced, she was clearly an expert in this. And it's nice to be led by an expert. It's nice to be led by a master in their field. And Jesus wants to lead us in the same way as this lady led me across the bank floor. And our challenge is whether we will allow him to lead us and to allow him to keep leading us. David wrote in Psalm 25 verse 9, he guides the humble and what is right and teaches them his way. And Isaiah writes, whether you turn to the right or the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Now, the Lord invites us to move with him in the rhythm of the dance and our challenge, will we let him lead us? That invitation is open to each one of us. And I love this translation of Matthew eleven twenty nine 29 to 30, which is the message translation, where it says this, walk with me, and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I love that phraseology there in the translation. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. That's a wonderful verses, wonderful translation of those verses. Now, as we enter another month, as July has started and another month of lockdown, uh, let me encourage you in this very strange season to keep following Jesus, to keep seeking him, to keep walking with him and to keep allowing him to expertly lead you day by day. Let me just pray. Lord, I thank you that you lead us. I thank you that you guide us. I thank you that you invite each one of us to come and walk with you. And I thank you, Lord, that when we don't know which way to turn uh, on the path, you guide us along the path. You say, go this way, go that way. And Lord, give us the courage during this time, Lord, whatever we're facing into this week, um, to keep following you and to keep trusting you, Lord, to lead us forward. We pray these things in your precious name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. I hope you have a good rest of the day.